back to Believer Science Academy. My name is Arj, and we have started this revision series for prelims 2021. So this is the fourth video. We already released the first three videos. So if you have not seen those videos, I would recommend you to go and watch those videos first. So we are starting with environment, and today we'll continue with the environment. So in today's session, in today's lecture, we will cover all the important protected areas which were there in news since last two years. So we are starting with environment. So we will start with the Ramsar sites. So you all know it is an international treaty for the conservation of and the wise use of wetlands. So in India we have now 46 wetland sites. In the last year 2020 some 15 uh, wetland Ramsar sites were added in this treaty Ramsar convention. And this year in 2021 four new Ramsar sites were added. Two from the Gujarat, two from the Haryana. So we'll cover all those 15 plus four Ramsar sites, which were added in the last two years, 2020, 2021. So it is an international treaty for the conservation of wise use of wetland. It is named after the Iranian city. It is a city of Iran, Ramsar, on the Caspian Sea. So in the comment box, just write all the bordering countries of Caspian Sea. Well, the treaty was signed on 2nd February 1971 and it was adopted, came into force in 75. And also the Montrex record, it is under this Ramsar sites only, Ramsar convention, this Montrex record. In India, we have two Ramsar sites under this Montrex record. One is your Kevla Dev in Rajasthan, another one is in Doktak Lake in Manipur. So earlier we we had this Chilika Lake from Odisha in this Montrex record, but now later it was removed from it. So right now we have this two site, Kevla uh, National Park from Rajasthan and Loktak Lake from Manipur. So Montrex record under the convention is a register of wetland site on the list of wetlands of the international importance. So basically Ramsar convention is for protection of wetlands from this technological developments, pollution, other human interference. So all these sites which are added in this Ramsar convention, all these wetlands, they are under at most protection from all these things. So that's why we add, that's the significance of adding wetlands into this Ramsar convention. So in the year 2020, 15 Ramsar sites were added. So, two from the Maharashtra, Nandur Madhveshwar and Lonar Lake. Earlier, Maharashtra does not have any uh, Ramsar site, but now it has two Ramsar sites. Punjab, three sites were added. Keshopur, Miyani, the Bias Convention. You know, Bias River flowing from Punjab. Uh, Bias Reserve. Then, this Nangar is also in Punjab. So two from Maharashtra, three from Punjab. Uttar Pradesh earlier used to have only one Ramsar site, which was the Upper Ganga uh, 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 basin, the Upper Ganga. Now, last year, total seven sites were added. So Uttar Pradesh got seven new wetland sites. So right now, UP has eight Ramsar sites. So in India, Uttar Pradesh has the highest number of Ramsar site currently. Earlier, Jammu and Kashmir used to have highest number of Ramsar sites before 2020. Now Uttar Pradesh has eight Ramsar sites, which is the highest. So UPSC can, can frame such kind of question. UPSC may ask that uh, Uttar Pradesh has the highest number of Ramsar site, or it can manipulate the statement as well. It may say the uh, Jammu Kashmir or Bihar or Gujarat. But UP has the highest number of Ramsar site. Then Bihar, this Karnatan was added. So this is the first Ramsar site from Bihar. Earlier Uttarakhand does not have any, did not have a have any Ramsar site. Now it is this Essen Conservation Center in Uttarakhand. It got a tag of Ramsar site in 2020. And in Ladakh, Sokar wetland, the previous site also got a Ramsar tag. So this 15 Ramsar sites were added in the year 2020. So you must remember all these things. So today, in today's lecture, 
I'm going to cover all the protected areas which were in news. But on your side, you have to check the species, important species in all the protected areas which I'm covering here. Also, location of all these uh, Ramsar sites. Ramsar site location, uh, in which state it is, which river is flowing by, what, what is its flora, fauna. See this, in the Ramsar site which were added previous year, in this year, those sites are very important for your prelims examination. So you should do some, some research about the species, about the location, about the flora and fauna, all these things. So after today's lecture, you must and you should uh, research more on all the protected areas, all the Ramsar sites, all the location which have, we are going to cover today. So in this year 2020, four new Ramsar sites were added, two from the Gujarat, Thol Lake, Vital Century, which is near to Ahmedabad and Badwana Wetland. So two were added from Haryana, Bindavas Wildlife Sanctuary and Sultanpur. So earlier Haryana did not have any Ramsar site, now it has two Ramsar sites. So currently we have 46 Ramsar sites in India. So the 15 in 2020 and the 4, you must and you should do more research on that. Uh, write in Google, whichever source you are following. But try to gather more information like which species are important, uh, which river is flowing by, everything, all the geography thing and from your ecology thing, everything you should cover. Now this earlier 27 wetland were added to this Ramsar site. Now it is 46. So this is the old map, the old map of Ramsar site, which I am. Uh, so this is the 27 Ramsar site, which was there before 2020. So here you can see. Now this is Telangana, and this now Jammu Kashmir and Ladakh. That part is. This is Ladakh. Now both are Union territories. So this is not the updated map of India. So see Gujarat already had one Ramsar site, then Kevla Dabuk National Park in uh, Rajasthan, Sambal Lake, then Harike, Ropar, Kanji in Punjab, Pong, then Lake in uh, Himachal Pradesh, Chandradhar wetland again Himachal Pradesh, Renuka wetland in Himachal Pradesh. So this is the map. In northeast, three states has Ramsar sites, uh, has uh, or so, uh, this uh, wetlands in Ramsar Convention, Assam, Assam has uh, the Port Bill, then your Manipur, Loktak Lake, then your Tripura, Rudra Sagar. So Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Mizoram, and, uh, and your uh, Meghalaya, they does not have uh, any Ramsar site, any wetland in this Ramsar Convention, in this Ramsar list. So. So also you you should have this tendency of observation which state does not have any Ramsar sites. See, Karnataka does not have any Ramsar sites. Telangana does not have any Ramsar site. Then your Goa does not have any Ramsar site. Sikkim does not have any Ramsar site. You have four uh, states from the northeast apart from this three. They does not have any Ramsar site. So UPSC may frame question like this that all the states of, of uh, northeast have this Ramsar site or uh, Karnataka does not have any Ramsar site. So it is a correct statement. So just observe Uttar Pradesh 8 highest number of Ramsar sites. So just go through this map once. This is the 27 Ramsar sites and we have covered this 4 which were added in this year and this. So go through all this and try to research more on all, all this location, all these Ramsar sites, all these wetlands. So again, Karnataka, Telangana, Sikkim, Goa, and this four North East state that does not have any Ramsar site. Now, two new national parks, Dihang Patkai 
and Raimona notified in Assam. So now Assam has total seven national parks. Madhya Pradesh has the highest number of national parks in India. It has some eleven national parks. So along with Kaziranga, Nameli, Orang, Banas, the Brusaiko, and now now with the addition of these two, now Assam has seven national parks. So Assam is now state with the second highest number of national parks in the country after Madhya Pradesh. And even here, Andaman and Nicobar has nine national parks. Andaman and Nicobar Union Territory it has the highest number of wildlife sanctuaries in India. And if we talk about states, then your Maharashtra has the highest number of wildlife sanctuaries. So all these facts, you should know all these facts. You never know. UPSC may ask question from all these uh, facts. It can manipulate this. It, it may say that Maharashtra has the highest number of wildlife sanctuaries in India. Uh, then even they can change this. Uttar Pradesh has the highest number of national parks. So you must be knowing all these things. So in today's session, we know that your time is very important now. Only 35 days are remaining to the exam. So I am trying to cover all the topics, all the protected areas which were there in news. So I am expecting you after going through all of this video, you also must research, you check the location of this fire, of these national parks, be it wildlife sanctuaries, uh, biosphere reserves, Ramsar site, just check the location and the geography which river is passing, which are the important species in the national park or wildlife sanctuaries flora, fauna, everything. So, so now again the Tamil Nadu gets its fifth tiger reserve uh, in Srivilu Uthur Mega Malai. So this is the fifth uh, tiger reserve in Tamil Nadu. So we have total 52 tiger reserves in India. So this is the 51st tiger reserve which was added in the list of tiger reserves. So Tamil Nadu, Shrevi, Uttur, Megamalai, 51st tiger reserve in India. And area of this hectare, it is a combination of two Shrevi, Uttur, Grizzle, Giants, Squirrel Century and Megamalai Wildlife Century have been combined to create this type of tiger reserve. So this is the in Tamil Nadu. In 2018, UPSC has asked a direct question: The Pakhui National Park is in which state? So it is in Arunachal Pradesh. So I'll, I'll tell you what kind of questions UPSC can frame. So the one is the direct question: They ask a wildlife sanctuary or national park, a biosphere reserve, wetland, and they ask uh, this. A protected area is located in which state and then they give four options and another kind of question is description based question where UPS gives a description about that particular national park or wildlife sanctuary say for an example they give this description about in the complete description a river passing by in this state in a, a nearby hill so they give a description give a hint and based on that you have to identify which national park or wildlife sanctuary UPC is talking about. So description based question. Say for example UPC may ask uh, about Kanha National Park. So they can say it is located uh, in, uh, in Madhya Pradesh. Then Barasinga is find or it is find there in the natural habitat. So all they create this uh, this kind of description and based on this they can ask the question. So again, so Ramgar Vishdari Wildlife Sanctuary received all clear clearance to become the Rajasthan's fourth and country's 52nd Tiger Reserve. So the previous one the Tamil Nadu got the 51st Tiger Reserve. Now this is 52nd and 5th of Rajasthan. Ramgur Vishdari Wildlife Sanctuary. So all this location which were in news we are covering. And so after that you also do some research on all these things. Check the location and the other things. Uh, with the addition of this Tiger Reserve, Rajasthan gets its fourth one. 
सर यू एच फोर आफ्टर रन थम फोर सरिस का मुकुंदा टाइगर रिजर्व सो थ्री थ्री फॉर ऑलरेडी देयर इन राजस्थान द रामगढ़ सेंचुरी इज लाइक अ पफर फॉर द रन थम फोर नेशनल पार्क वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फेमस वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज इन इंडिया सो अगेन दिस इज दिस वाज इन न्यूज़ रिसेंटली गॉट अ वाइल्ड लाइफ टाइगर रिजर्व टैग एंड इट इज नाउ द 50 सेकंड टाइगर रिजर्व ऑफ इंडिया so project rehab again so this was in news a very important topic for this year's prelims project rehab so khadi and village industries kvic has launched a unique project called project rehab the aim the purpose is reduce elephant human attacks using bees so we we have seen and we are on a on a if usually we read this news in newspaper that uh, elephant human conflict so so to reduce this uh, elephant human co uh, conflict this project was started by kvic so again this kvic is come under ministry of msme small and medium enterprise so upsc may confuse here that this rehab rehab project started to reduce the human uh, and elephant conflict and it is started by environment ministry but no this is kvic it comes under ministry of uh, small and medium enterprise msme sector or uh, msme ministry so remember this we have project started by kvic so in this project say for an example this is a elephant corridor and here a road is passing by a national highway or something like that so here this is the point where elephant human conflict may happen so here they will make the project have to create b fences so they will make a b fences so elephants from here will not move here so like that by creating this b fences to mitigate human elephant conflicts in the country it will reduce the loss of the lives of both humans and, and both the lives for uh, humans and elephants are very important so here the b fence is created so project rehab is important for this year's prelims now again this it was launched a pilot project at four places located on the periphery of nagarpur national park in karnataka so upsc may also also ask question from here uh, they can change this fact they can say it was uh, it's it was started in sundarban or any other national park but you have to remember this fact pilot project in karnataka nagar hole so kalapath wildlife sanctuary it is located in odisha so it was in news recently odisha has lost six elephant in the in two weeks following the death of one more jumbo in the kalapath wildlife sanctuary so this is the mystic kalapath wildlife sanctuary it is home to the plethora of Wild, wild animals and the birds such as leopard, goat, all these species we can find in Karapath Wildlife Sanctuary. So this was in news. You must know. So you read more about Karapath Wildlife Sanctuary. Where it is located? The exact location is any river passing by in this wildlife sanctuary. What are the important species? We already mentioned the species. So, so the the purpose is the spoon feeding is not the option to crack this up for examination it it is done not going to work out so you have to also do some research after the video just write down all this location and so this all this places were in news so there is high probability that upsc may ask question from all these protected areas so you should do more research on that then bernardi wildlife sanctuary it is located in assam so you must know this why it was in news so recently the world wide wwf world wildlife fund for nature found few tiger inhabiting the bernardi wildlife sanctuary in assam so wwf found a few tiger they found a few tigers in this wildlife sanctuary the sanctuary is bordered by bernardi river and the rana bana river so again see upsc may ask a description based question they give a four five lines description which indicate 
by by which we you can see may give the hint, hint about this wildlife sanctuary. So again, this this rivers are passing east and west respectively. The Bernardi was established specifically to protect the pygmy hawks. So in the next session, we are going to cover all the important species and all the the remaining uh, protected areas which which we cannot complete in today's session. So we'll cover all these things. So pygmy hawk and this the hare. So it was specifically established for these two species. So again, in the description, the UPSC may also put this statement as well. It is important for threatened species such as the Asian elephant, tigers, and the goat. So again, the Bernardi Wildlife Sanctuary. It was in news. You do some research, more research on this. Just write down all these things on a paper. Now this Nauga Nagzira Tiger Reserve, which is located in Maharashtra, this was in news. This was in news for like for two three reasons. So recently, a camera truck installed at Nauga Nagzira Tiger Reserve in Bandara district, which is in Maharashtra, has captured the image of a black panther. So in black panther. It is IUCN. The one that it is come come under vulnerable cat category in uh, IUCN. So black panther was found in in this tiger reserve. So we are all this news we are covering from different newspaper, different news articles, and this is the compilation. So this was in news. So you must know about this tiger reserve. So black panthers are mainly found in southwestern China, Burma, Nepal, southern India, Indonesia, and the southern part of Malaysia. In India specifically, the southern southern India. It is found in Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, and Maharashtra, etc. So see the southern part. Now it is found somewhere in Maharashtra. This is uh, black panther. So IUCN vulnerable. It is the Wildlife Protection of Act of India in Schedule One. So this is this, this was the news. This was in news. It is situated in Maharashtra. It is comprised of notified areas like Nagao National Park, Nagao Wildlife Sanctuary, Nagzira Wildlife Sanctuary, New uh, this Koka Wildlife. So all these things. So in the previous video, if you have not seen the previous video, I I explained about a source, a one-stop solution, one-stop solution to read all these protected areas. A Ministry of Environment's website. So where you can find all these protected areas, your national parks, wildlife sanctuaries, Ramsar sites, tiger reserve, elephant reserve. So I hope you are going through that. And uh, so after this, so th the purpose is just to explain or just to cover all the protected areas which were there in news. So here you have to do further research to prepare for your exam. So again, India's first cryptogamic garden. So in Uttarakhand, in Dehradun, India's first cryptogamic garden housing, nearly 50 species of lichens, ferns, fungi was inaugurated in Uttarakhand, Dehradun district. So you may may ask a direct question: so Where, in which state, India's first cryptogamic uh, this garden was inaugurated? So it, it is Uttarakhand in Dehradun. And all this, this can be a question from ecology as well. So UPSC may ask the question from ecology from this part. So cryptogam is a plant that reproduces with the help of spores. The word cryptogam implies hidden reproduction, referring to the fact that they do not produce any reproductive structure, seed or flower. So they are usually floundless, seedless plants. And so this is a very important fact from from this. UPSC may frame up ecology based question. So you must know what is cryptogam and this the location. So they need a moist environment. So remember moist environment. Usually this fungi, uh, all these things, the lichens, the pyrophytes, the algae, all are this part of this cryptogam. So they need a, a moist environment to survive. These are present 
in aquatic and terrestrial places. So both the places. So we can also classify this in three groups: thallophyte. So it is a division of the plant kingdom, including primitive form of plant, like showing the simple plant body. They lack roots, stems, and leaves. It include algae like etc. They are predominantly aquatic and found both in marine as well as freshwater habitats. So this is the first part. This is the first uh, category of uh, cryptogams, thylophyte. Then after the second category, which is biophyte. So this, this comprises of a limited variety of the non-vascular land plants. They prefer moist habitats, but they can survive in dry you know, environment too. So these are the examples. They they occupy a intermediate position between algae and peri pteridophytes. So since these bio pteridophytes can survive in both water and land, they are known as the amphibians of the plant kingdom. So from here, UPSC may frame a question, a ecology based question from this. And pteridophyte, uh, it is again a vascular plant. The dispersed spores. It is the first plant to have cymes and phloems, and ferns are the largest living group of this category. So, this three thallophyte and pteridophytes and your pyrophytes. So, these are the uh, type of your cryptogamic. Species, cryptogamic plants. So this Kaziranga National Park, it was recently in news. So it has been in news. So this this National Park is very all the National Park from Northeast and from Assam particularly. There are seven National Parks. So so Northeast is a, is a re region from where UPSC can get a lot of data and fact. So they usually ask the question a protected area based question from Northeast. So recently, the Assam Kaziranga National Park became the first national park in India to be equipped with the national uh, satellite phones. So usually, the poaching activity is very prevalent in this uh, national park in, in uh, Kaziranga. To to reduce and to eliminate this poaching activity, this step was recently taken. An official of the, so satellite phones would boost anti-poaching measures in the park. So this is the reason why. The, offer. the satellite phone will be used in the park six range with no wireless and poor mobile connectivity. So due to this poor connectivity, now they are equipped with this uh, satellite phone to reduce this anti-poaching, to reduce the poaching activities. So again, this was in news. It is the first of a kind. So there are possibilities that UPSC may remove question from here. So Kaziranga. The river Maguri Mota from wetland. It is also located in Assam. So this is not a part of your this Ramsar list, this wetland. So recently casualties have been reported after clashes on the issue of compensation for the damages to this wetland. Wetland. It is located close to the Dibru Saikova National Park in Upper Assam's Tinkushia district. So Dibru Saikova again a very important. So all the national parks meet Kazir, Kaziranga, your Nameri, Oram National Park, the Bruce Aikova, Rai Mona, then this Bihang Patkai. All these national parks are very important. Even in Arunachal Pradesh, the national parks are Arunachal Pradesh. So north east of east is a very important uh, region from as far as the protected areas, as far as the environment is concerned. So you must go through all these national parks, their flora, their fauna, which river is passing by, be it Lohit or Brahmaputra, everything you must be aware before the exam. So Mahendra Giri Biosphere Reserve, it is not a biosphere reserve yet, but Odisha, so they want this, Odisha government is proposed second biosphere reserve. So Simlipal, they already have Simlipal Biosphere Reserve in Odisha. So they are demanding a second biosphere reserve. 
so it is uh, reserved in the southern part of the state of uh, Mahendragiri. It is a hill, Mahendragiri ecosystem. It, it is a hill with a very rich biodiversity. So now they are demanding, now they are demanding a second biosphere reserve in the state. So it is around this hectare spread over these two districts of eastern part. And the heat ecosystem acts as a transitional zone between the flora and the fauna of southern India and the Himalayan. Himalayan. So this is very important. So consequently, the region is the ecological estuary of genetic diversity. So here you will get a very diverse plant species, animal species. It is a kind of a, like it is an interface between this southern ecology and the Himalayan ecology. So that's why these Mahendragiri hills are very important, this ecology. And you may ask a question from this portion. The vegetation of the Mahendragiri hill uh, complex are basically of four types of sal, sal forest, then mixed forest, grassland, and your scrubs. So two tribes are also living. Saura tribe, it is a particularly vulnerable. So even the previous UPSC has asked a question on this particularly vulnerable tribe, PVT is 75. So UPSC asked the question and the another is this uh, Kanda tribe. So in Mahindragiri accounts for 40% of the reported flora of the Odisha, 29 and the 41 species of this medi medicinal plants. So it is a very important uh, biological uh, you know, ecosystem in Od Odisha, where you will find all these genetic plants and very rich in biodiversity. So again, you can ask a question. Now talking about biosphere reserve, in the previous lecture we have seen the 18 biosphere reserve, out of which dwell are the part of your managed biosphere program. From this, this Panna, recently it was added as the 12th biosphere reserve from India which was added in the UNESCO's Marine Biosphere Program. So again, I told in the Ramsar, when we were discussing Ramsar site, you must be aware which state doesn't have any Ramsar site. So here, UP is a very big state. UP doesn't have any biosphere reserve. Then your Rajasthan doesn't have any biosphere reserve. Your Maharashtra doesn't have any biosphere reserve. Your Telangana, Karnataka have this new here. It is in the uh, confluence of this three states. Uh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Kerala. So you must be aware about all these things. Jammu and Kashmir doesn't have any biosphere reserve. So Ramsar said, I, I told you, uh, Karnataka, Telangana, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, they does not have any Ramsar site. So here you can also, it is uh, Achanak Paramar Kantak, it is in Jharkhand, uh, in Chhattisgarh, sorry. So your Jharkhand doesn't have any biosphere reserve. So just have, just try to observe all these things as well but when you are reading so just don't read all the important locations, species and all because now UPSC is asking such kind of innovative questions as well so you must be thorough, you must be by heart with the uh, map of India so aiding biosphere reserve, here is the list run of Kutch then you Sesha Chalam we discussed so in the previous video, I, uh, I mentioned about the source. So you must, again, I'm, I'm repeating this thing. Before the exam, just go through that source, you know, 10 to 15 minutes, even 10 to 15 minutes for 10 days or even for two weeks. So that will really help you fetching those four or six marks extra in the examination on. So we discuss about uh, Mahindra Giri, which Odisha demanded, then uh, this wetland, Maguri Mutabang uh, wetland in Assam, Kaziranga got the first, uh, became the first national park to get the satellite phones. Then we discuss about this first cryptogamic garden in Uttarakhand, the Odisha, three type of this plant. Yeah, this, this, this can be a potential ecology question as well. So go through this once and attach this PDF uh, file in the description as well. Then Nauga of Nazariya, Tiger Reserve. Few labor, laborers were, they were also killed uh, here in this national park. So for this, that reason also this national park was in news. So multiple times this was in news. So it is in Maharashtra. 
So read more about this national park. Then Barnadi Wildlife Sanctuary in Assam. Again, it is very important. The Karapath in Odisha. Project Dikhev is also very important from this year's prelims. The 52nd Tiger, Tiger Reserve of India in Rajasthan. 51st in the, uh, Tamil Nadu. And these two, uh, two new national parks in Assam. So all these things we have covered. Prior to that, we covered this Ramsar site as well. So all these Ramsar sites, this newly added uh, wildlife uh, uh, national parks and wildlife sanctuaries which we covered. So from in the next session, we'll cover all the remaining uh, protected areas which we which are left in the in the today's session. And apart from that, we'll also cover the species in use, the important species in use. So this is the end of the session. So today we have covered some. 10 to 15 protected areas. In the next session, we are going to cover more protected areas and also the species in news. So we in the Believers IS Academy, it is located in Bangalore in BTM layout. So we are available in all the social media. We are on Telegram. You can follow us for all the important updates. We upload all the important articles, important editorials on this Telegram. Uh, we are also on this Instagram, Facebook, you can follow us there. Uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. We are up, coming up with more videos for Prelims 2021. And share it with all your friends who are preparing for this year. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next session.